Do you remember watching the movie The Matrix, the first one? There is a scene where Trinity needs to fly a helicopter, but the problem is she doesn't know how. Seconds later, though, a program is downloaded into her brain and she can fly the helicopter like a pro. This scene portrays a theory that has been held dear in cognitive science for many decades, comparing the brain with a computer. However, new evidence puts pressure on this theory and understanding this will give you an advantage in how you interact with customers and how you can learn new skills for yourself. Newer research helps us realize that cognition, which is how your customers get to know you and your product, doesn't just happen in the brain. Cognition is a result of how the brain and body interact with the environment. That's how your customers build perception and thinking, which then impacts their memory and decisions. So a current theory in cognitive science is embodied cognition. There are various ways to create this interplay between brain, body, and the environment. For example, you might invite customers to an experience center or ship them demo products, which they can physically touch. You might offer demos and free trials, inviting customers to click or swipe on screens. You might be using virtual reality or AR, augmented reality or extended reality, affording customers even more visceral experiences. But what happens if you don't have access to any of these? An easy and zero cost way to evolve the brain and the body is to ask customers to physically take notes when you share with them essential information. This is how I know this works. In one neuroscience study I conducted, I recorded the B2B buyers' EEG and ECG signals. Some buyers viewed a virtual sales presentation passively, some took notes. In the note-taking condition, I asked some buyers to type their notes, I asked others to handwrite their notes. What did we find? The buyers in the handwriting condition showed larger values of motivation to engage with the presentation. They understood the content better, they remembered it better. It's true that people in the typing condition took more notes, but the quality of the notes in the handwritten condition was higher. There are several reasons why the pen is mightier than the keyboard. When people handwrite, they engage their visual and motor regions of the brain, and they see each letter forming stroke by stroke, and this visual feedback keeps the motor control involved and motivated. And think for your own situation. When you handwrite, you're probably selective in what you put on paper, which means that as you synthesize information, your comprehension and retention are better. By contrast, when you're typing notes, you don't see the letters forming stroke by stroke. You only see the final product, so there is less involvement. And typing notes tends to be verbatim from the speaker's script, which means you're not encoding content so deeply. And let's think for a moment about this notion of the technology doing the work for you. Whether it's typed words that just magically appear or words from someone else's script showing up, we have to be cautious because this is the age of the machine and we're facing some subtle and fragile moments in the history of humanity. Where we're starting to outsource too many of our human capabilities to technology. Keep developing your own human skills and you can keep up with the machine. And it doesn't take a lot. In our experiment, buyers in the handwriting condition had lower cognitive workload. And perhaps this is one of the main reasons why you will find embodied cognition so useful. It is possible that by involving the body and the environment, we lighten people's cognitive workload, freeing up their centers for cognition to do their work better and faster. In our experiment, handwriting was an embodied way of seeing, of perceiving what was essential in an idea. So, next time you're interacting with a customer, how about this? Instead of augmented reality, use the other AR, actual reality. When you're sharing points that are potent for your audience, simply say, write this down, it'll help you in your business. Of course, we're making the assumption that what you're sharing is worthy of being written down. And if you're using this video for your own development, next time you're learning something new, write the essence down to take a load off your own cognition.